This right here is the Scale 118 Barago Audi TT RS. It's one of their newest cars, pretty popular. I've gotten several requests to do it. So I'm going to head into this and we'll see what we can get. So overall, this car is very good. And I have to say, it's probably one of the best Baragos I've seen. Uh, significantly better than that of um, the, uh, or the Lamborghini Aventador that I showed earlier that had multiple problems. This one has been relatively well thought out and it's definitely worth buying. Uh, it comes in multiple colors, uh, red, I believe silver, I'm not sure if there's another one. Oh, there, there's a dark blue that happens to look very nice also. Um, for around $30 or so, 30 US dollars for my international viewers. So, to start with here, the suspension, there is no suspension, as characteristic of all Burgos. Um it's kind of kind of weird. I don't really know why because it, this is Burgo is now owned by Maisto. They've been owned by them for a while now, so I'm not sure why they're not carrying over their their suspension techniques. But whatever, they are, however, carrying over very very nice detail, and we can see that all around the car, um, but especially on the inside. And with the camera, you can't really tell the detail, so you're just gonna have to trust me straight out. Um, the color. Um, is for the most part there. There, there's a silver center console here. That's nice to see. Um, all the buttons are in the right place. It actually, if you really want to zoom in onto the onto the center right there where the radio is, you can actually see some of the letters and um, everything on that. It's very very impressive. Um, the steering wheel, as you can see, has the flat bottom. Pretty good. On um, the gauge cluster, it's a sticker, but with these lower end models it typically is a sticker uh, these these seats pretty good very very characteristic of Maisto of uh, Maisto and Barago most certainly uh, another one another thing very small detail I want to mention is that along this plastic what they kind of tried to do is make it look like um, leather and they have done so pretty successfully because I mean it really it has a nice texture to it and for just being hard plastic, it does really add an effect to the interior of the car. As far as the wheels go, it just keeps getting better. Um, I'll zoom out. That's probably yeah, that's probably best right there. Um, just very very nice wheels. I really like the coloring on it. Um, it really it works well with the red especially. And you can see the brake rotors in there which have no calipers, a little concerning, but for some reason they decided not to put it on there. Uh, these are smaller brakes in the back, obviously, as they typically are with the real cars. For most of the outside details, um, the headlights are very impressive for a budget car. And one thing um, that someone pointed out to me um, was the fact that these are LEDs, uh, has kind of an LED signature on the bottom because of course with these Audis they have the really nice LED patterns you can actually see it on the headlight itself and if you get one of these cars to look at more closely you'll be able to see that it's pretty impressive um, let's see around this headlight there is a little gap right here and the gap does extend and I'm not too fond about that it doesn't look too um, too well done but that's typical again I mean, this is around $30. It, you got to keep that in mind. And it's still an excellent, excellent car for that. Because, I mean, we look under the engine. Everything's in the right place. You can see the spark plugs there. This is a five-cylinder, which is pretty unusual. Uh, very interesting. And you can really see all that detail. Around here, it kind of just looks like one big plastic piece. But the main, the most important stuff is definitely there. So if I haven't already mentioned, everything does open. And it has four seats, to my surprise. Which also, there's also a nice pattern right here. I don't know if that's carbon fiber or whatever, but it does look pretty good. That license plate is uh, did not come with the car. Around we see the metal work. Pretty good overall, except for um, these little spots that I already mentioned. And the chrome pieces about the same. Uh, for this car, because it's new, the chrome looks pretty much impeccable. And there's sometimes where an older car doesn't. 
I do want to mention this grill as one last thing. It is very well, uh, very well done. It's not exactly, you couldn't stick, say, a toothpick through that. It is one big plastic piece, but the detail is most certainly there, and it looks great. I don't know if I've already mentioned the bottom. If I have, forgive me. If I haven't, then this is new. Um, everything is raised. It's good to see. Uh, we have the differential back there. This, of course, is all-wheel drive, as uh, most Audis are. And everything looks good. Everything's colored in correctly. It's one very large black pa plastic piece. Um, and just got the TTRS logo right there, which is pretty good. All right, so that's all for this. It's a very good car. I would highly recommend it. It's a Scale 118 Barago Audi TT RS. Thanks for watching.